as well, like the pulses, so it doesn't matter for the guy in Angel, and the Pudge is always going to do a lot of damage. So NC, they're going to fall back for the storm, and he has to be immaculate on the Omni Knight. Very, very yeah. strong hero with a Heavenly Grace to be able to stop a lot of the initiation that can come through from Talon. That Fishman needs to be in a really, really good spot, and Pure. Mm -hmm. oh, Pure's in danger. The spot of the Tombstone is better than the positioning of the Omni Knight as they toss the levels of the sidekick, the rebound and the dispose is going to force the Shadow Fiend into these uh, bad scenarios. Bottom line though. You know, we spoke about it earlier that uh, if you get hooked that Silencer, there's actually nothing you can do. And we get a demonstration of that in the bottom lane as Toby gets dragged back in by 23 Savage. Katsuhomi does get some degree of revenge though, but unfortunately 23 is just happy. Another map pure yet again. We mentioned it again. Tombstone is up. They jump him, and they are going to be able to kill him. Heavenly Grace or no, he's going to be able to take out the Tombstone. He's still alive for now, actually. KP, though, running him down. One more right click should do the trick. And they do indeed get the kill. Erstwhile down bottom Q. He's the one in danger now. They went in for Toby, but they weren't able to finish off the kill. So they get bounced back. Nice hook back onto Katawomi with the telekinesis. So it's gonna be the tiny instead that they choose to bring down. Oh, or maybe not. Nice toss back. It doesn't save his life, but it does look cute, which sometimes is all that matters. But now Toby's in danger too. Oh my God. Both of them have just been brought down in this bottom. Be able to leverage this for a kill just yet. Yeah, kind of interesting that uh, Hyde decided to, to leave that. Oh, he's gone top. That's why he wanted to leave the, the power room. Pure. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, we know what's going to happen here. We've seen this movie, unfortunately. It's a sequel for Pure, though. It's a sequel to a movie that he really doesn't like. As he gets brought down in the top lane. Pure. Dead for the third time in this matchup. This lane, man. It is yeah. not fun for anybody. Thanks for ruining our pub talent, because everybody now is going to be trying this one out. Yeah, I think... Um some of the games that we've seen this poor Marcy as well, or even the core undying, when you just have these heroes that can just constantly go, oh, the Unleash is top as well, KP looking for a solo kill. Oh my god. He's gonna get it too. Just bows, he's gonna get the solo kill with the Unleash, and Pure, because he's died so many times, oh, Pure. he's underleveled, and actually he's in danger right now. Stormstorm are forced to make the rotation to the top lane, KP but he might not chat. be able to save the Shadow Fiend. Nice little lasso onto, from Stormstorm onto Marcy, and KP forces the rotation, forces the lasso, and almost kills Pure. The arcane right there. now, Stormstorm. he's gonna try to leverage it to get a kill onto Makoto as Kataomi gets the avalanche. They do drop down this tombstone though. 23 Savage making his first big rotation off the map. And he will he be able to find revenge for the dead Makoto? Is the question. Uh, Kataomi, he's gonna be the one left behind as they quickly bring him down. There's still a hook coming back in, so Stormstorm is actually not safe. Barely misses him, but here comes KP as well. Unleashed is at the ready, goes in oh with the God. rebound, gets the damage out, and Stormstormer. Maybe wishing Tombstone gets dropped down. He's forced to okay. global this, but he should end up dead here. Stormstormer comes in though as a form of support. They get in the okay. flame break with the drag back on the lasso. Turns out it was a bait all the time, Fluke. He knew exactly what he was doing. Gets the plus two at the very end here and forces the deny on the tier one tower. And they're not done just yet. Oh, the tower, Arcane tower, okay. Curse will slow down Q. And that should enable them to bring in a kill from Stormstormer. It's going to be a double kill for the bat. Nicely done. Yeah, plus two, minus two. Way the hook goes wide as well. This could be bad. Now they know that he has no hook. Coming in on Stormstorm by Lasso it back. There's going to be the global. They want to cover this. Do they have oh, the damage to kill him in time though is the question. Pure winds up the Requiem. He's still alive on 23 Savage. Will eventually die. But KP now might look for some kind of counterplay. He rebounded in with the BKB going. But ran out of damage quite quickly. Another rebound goes forward onto Fishman. But he gets forced off out of danger by Toby. Mikoto forced into BKB. So that he can escape the fight. So they end up losing two heroes here. 23 Savage goes down, so does the... Just keep the spacing, keep it going. They had a beautiful ward up on this high ground to try and bait any of the aggression that came in from Entity, but they wanted to try and change that up. They wanted to see if they could get a little bit more of this gold on the map. KP is in the back lines here, looking to see if he can catch out Stormstorm. Another one of these wards goes in, he still has BKB though. Global Silence will cover him at the moment. BKB activated by KP and oh, Stormstormer KP's gets trouble. off his own BKB. Lasso back into the waiting hands of Pure, who just right clicks him down. Oswald on the high ground of the fight. High drops down the tombstone to try and buy time, but unfortunately that time will quickly, quickly, quickly end. As they kill him, they take down the Raise onto this entity roster. Oh, 23 Savage. Oh, no, not 23 you Savage. Be. He BKBs though, but they don't care about the BKB because Pure has a double damage rune. Just right clicks right through 23 Savage. They also get the catch out onto Q. He's been brought back into an awkward position. One more right click from Pure will finish him off. That is a double kill for the Shadow Fiend. And as is the way of Dota 2, they want to go into the Roshan pit utilizing the DD. But for once, Gaben is a little bit kind. 30 seconds until the Roshan is online. 
but nonetheless, Talon... Really good job right now, uh, playing around their massive team fight oldies and not getting punished for when they're off cooldown as well. I think that's the biggest thing here for Entity. You know, try and fight yeah. without Global, though. They're trying to steal this Roshan. Big they flaming. So much damage. Yeah, right? Almost dead right now. They actually need to do something very quickly. They get the jump onto Fishman. That is the best possible target, and he doesn't have buyback. So you can't immediately come back into the fray. Stormstormer, will he try to go for the steal here? Indeed he does, but he doesn't get it. BKB active though as Kata Omi gets himself hooked out of the Roshan pit. He's already been brought down with the right clicks of Makoto. Stormstormer as his BKB oh, ends. They're running onto him, but pure Requiems onto the high ground. Fears three heroes and ends up blowing up KP. So they, although they end up losing the Aegis, nonetheless, Entity gets something out of that fray. But still, Talon. Like, do you try and go in and preempt a, uh, you know, a global silence by having, you know, the Lotus Orb at the ready, or do you try and preempt it with like the BKB and all this kind of stuff? And man, these team fights—they're they're, going to be won or lost by very minute details. I think just now. So Ooh, big detail here is going to be the massive lasso drag out onto the Undying without buyback, especially. Forty-four seconds, and they didn't have to commit the global for that one as well. Drop the global silence. The tiny looking for a way in as the BKB was popped on the Pudge. But at the same time, BKB was also utilized on the Batrider. So one for one, Makoto still has access to his, pops it now, and there's Kataomi getting demolished by this turret leader. Oh, they're on the Shadow Fiend. Savage can now jump onto Pure, finding the dismember, but Shadow Fiend activates the Satanic. He starts right clicking back to health. He's gonna be all alright. They have oh, killed Toby though, and now Fishman getting himself dragged back into the fray. Dying to the right clicks of Makoto, who's already found himself a triple kill. And although Pure feels very strong, there's only so much he can do by himself. Toby goes in to try and delay the Roshan Siege. They're going to be able to at least kill the Erosh. Hyde does die to the right click damage of Pure. But Pure needs to watch himself. Hook back in. He has the Aegis. Savage, but 23 has the Aegis. He'll die, but he'll happily sacrifice himself if it means taking Pure down with him. And Stormstormer gets oh jumped onto by 23 Savage. With the refresh on the Dismember, it's enough to... Go back live, we see them taking a lane of racks through this mid lane. We've all had games where you deal less than 15k damage in total, let alone in yeah. a solitary team fight. Makoto has protection on the high oh. ground. The Lincoln Sphere prevents the lasso. And now they brought down the Batrider. Stormstormer does have buyback. Pure. Will he find the Requiem? Indeed he does. Fears back KP but can't kill him. 23 Savage trying to track down Pure. Has access oh, to Kata the Dismember Omi. in a couple of seconds. Will they be able to eat him? Kataomi has tossed back hide, but that's not one of the primary targets. Silence has oh, been out. Start. Fishman is dead. And Q jumps forward, drags back Pure. Pure gets eaten alive with his own Requiem as it gets stolen away by this Rubik. He dies. He's gone. And that's going to be another lane of racks taken as well by Talon Esports. This game is feeling like it's about to end here, Fluke. Entity were balanced on the knife edge for so long. But Talon happened to push them off a cliff near the Roshan pit. And now they're going to push them out of this game. Stormstormer getting the lasso, dragging back the Pudge. They've already killed Toby, who is dead without buyback right now. Tossed back from Kataomi into the fountain, but 23 Savage keeps himself alive. There is going to be the right click damage from Makoto. They're not actually going to go for it because GG has already been called Entity throw in the tower, they realize that Talon are too strong. And the only third win of this Lina pick is... Dawn, and you're going to have Makoto playing the uh, the Pangalier. We've seen a lot more uh, success out of the, the, the mid Pangalier. So they're just going to go for the Katsomi Tiny. Um, you can't really threaten him, so it just has a pretty free time. But top lane, the threat is actually coming into the Drow Ranger. You mentioned that this, game, this lane has aggressive kill potential. And they managed to find it in the top lane, bringing down the Drow Ranger super early on. And Fishman... Some deja vu for him. I think these lanes are just going really, really well here for Talon. Doing a good job. Yeah. KP Zero is a little bit behind on the CS, but his lane was not supposed to go immaculately. He's playing up against an Undying. He's playing up against a Drow Ranger. They did well enough to be able to get the first blood. And, you know, once he gets to level 6 here on the Dawn Break, once they get level 6 on Q, oh, this might be a kill, though. Oh, my God. Well, a lot easier to get close to level 6 when you're just killing heroes for fun and they bring down Fishman in the top lane. That's a... Uh, Every single time, I'm always surprised that uh, that free crit damage is pretty strong. Are oh, they going to kill Drow as well? We're going to try to. Gus gets pushed back onto the two heroes. Pure stays alive. Could have been a really awkward position, but does manage to not die. Q in the meantime, down bottom, being chased around by Kataomi on this tiny. One more right click should be able to attain the kill. Kataomi with the boots. Like this. They need the Spirit Vessel, right? They're playing up against the Spirit Breaker. Oh, 23 Savage, he's dead. Nice toss back into Toby. Oh, uh, Toby doesn't die one. because Q comes out of nowhere with the Impale to bring down the Enigma. 23 Savage does eventually get brought down by Kataomi. 
But Toby died first, so he gives up the experience to the Pangolier. That was not in the script for the side of Entity. Things were going so well in this bottom lane before they got that kill loss. Well, it happens. These things do occur. Oh, uh, but take a look at the middle. Yeah, I was about to say that. Hide gets a stun out, but Makoto not in position to drop the LSA. Storm Stormer had some awareness that something might have been awry, so he was positioned in a very safe place so he doesn't end up losing his life. Yeah, it was a little bit awkward for Makoto. Most of his squad does have access to TP, so I wonder if they'll come down and try to mount oh, a defense, and that's indeed what they're going to do. They're going for this. They also go in with the Vendetta, oh, but they have too. the Sentry Rune, but unfortunately, they have the Rolling Thunder first. Black Hole oh, will be there, cancelled out immediately by the Nyx Assassin Spy Carapus as Makoto comes in on they're the back end of the fight, already eliminated on the Toby Enigma. Savage is going to go deeper into the fray, bringing down the Shadow Fiend and chasing away Kataomi. Pure showed up, but Pure is getting chased down. They have the Selly Hammer in a moment from KP. No more Gust available for Pure. They don't even need the Selly Hammer as they just go headlong into the Drow, kill him off. Kataomi tried to delay proceedings with the Avalanche on the back end, but that's not going to help as Entity get full five man one. Not a safe place to be for the side of Entity. Frostbuckle will come out. And here we go. They're going to start off that same team fight yet again. Solar Guardian does come in, goes onto the Shadow Feed. They want the Storm Stormer kill, and they are going to find it. Rolling Thunder still able to connect onto the Undying on the back end of the fight. Fishman will buy time with the Flesh Golem. He comes in, 23 Savage, needs the Shield Crash to stay alive. The swap from Hyde will ensure that he lives. And the Swashbuckle ends up getting the kill onto Fishman. Further north, here's KP chasing down Makoto, Makoto. and Makoto comes in to finish off Toby. And uh, Katoomi, well. He's a real team player, man. Doesn't want to see his uh, homies dying without him. So he says, I'll join y'all in the fountain. Let's go to the sauna together as they bring... Look at this. Kataomi also just has Flink Dagger. So if there's ever a time to take a fight, it would be now. Oh. He goes in. Avalanche onto two. Tosses back the Lina. There's the combo we wanted. Time to Tosses save. Into but he doesn't die because the save is there from KP with the Solar Guardian. And now suddenly it's Stormstormer who's isolated. Stormstormer who's left behind. And Stormstormer who's killed. The fight isn't over though because 23 Savage, he finds the Drow Ranger on the high ground. There is going to be help though from Entity. Katomi jumps in. Bails out the Drow by killing off. The 23 Savage Pango. No Solar Guardian for them just yet. It's going to be up in another 8 seconds though. I'm going to try and find something here yep. with Q. Part 2 of this fight is probably going to start soon. As the posturing around the Roshan Pit has not ended. They actually get Kataomi with a little bit of damage. Gets caught with the Impale. Man! What range are these spells? Long range Impale, long range Magic Missile. It's Kataomi is dead now without buyback. Roshan. Starting to regen up, but Nakoto really wants to go back into this. Toby has dropped down the Midnight Pots and the Malefice. Here comes Salvation, thanks to the Solo Guardian. They swap Toby back into the middle of several heroes. Pure, not going to be able to help out from afar, even though Stormstormer did drop the Requiem. Nakoto has activated BKB as Pure now, chasing down KP. They're trying to get these slows out of the Frost Arrows, but they know that all of these heroes are so, so mobile. You can't catch up to any of them right now. Makoto's damage shield. They just need to make sure that he's enabled in these team fights and making sure that they're getting the kills. Oh, Blink in from Q. My god, what a player Q. They stopped the Requiem. Find a two hero impale. Oh my they stopped god. the Requiem. Get a two hero LSA to stop both Requiem and Black Hole. And now Makoto in full turret mode, demolishing these heroes. Fishman barely escapes before he gets stunned up out of the TP. That's three heroes dead in a heartbeat. Yet again, the initiation coming in from this Nyx Assassin. Yeah, sure, Q dies, but hashtag worth when you enable the fight <laughs> so perfectly for Makoto. Nyx Assassin, baby. What a hero. What an absolute hero. hero. This hero is going to be so hotly contested for the entirety of TI. If these main stage teams... But they don't have a Lotus Orb or a Lincoln Sphere or anything to block the swap. So it's so hard if you don't have vision of the Vengeful Spirit oh, about Q. what to do. And now Nyx Assassin sets up yet again. Q comes in with the Blink Stun. Oh, no black and hole. Toby, no black hole. Cancelled almost immediately. Makoto just throwing in the right clicks from the low ground. Earning himself a double kill. Swap back onto Stormstormer. He's in the midst of all these heroes. Pure is now on the high ground. Able to okay. get out some right click damage onto 23 Savage. So there's some positivity in this fight. As Hyde also going to get caught out and right click down. They forced a retreat from KP. So oh, finally, a successful yeah. fight happening from Entity. It does require them to buy back on Toby. They're not done just yet. They keep the chase going. Kataomi found KP. Starbreaker will buy a little bit of time. It's coming out now. Or oh, that, that's been out for a while on 23 Savage. So it's not like the uh, the BKB Lincolns is going to be the end all or be all for them. He will have to try and pray to Gaben that he doesn't get back to the top. Right? Entity is going to go in Q. Okay. Okay. That's a nice little start to the fight to try and bring down Hyde. But there is going to be... The initiation from the ultimate from Solar Guardian. 
Unfortunately, they've already brought down Toby as well. The right click damage from Makoto, a bit too extreme. The Rolling Thunder from 23 Savage, looking for Stormstormer. Stormstormer doesn't have BKB anymore, so has to worry about this. Nice little bash coming in from the 23 Savage, Swashbuckle. But they don't really want to take this fight. Kata Omi buys space with the... In towards the uh, Agonim Scepter. I think you have Ags. Mm. Oh, okay, they found Stormstormer. Oh, no. Yet again, they've got him out. Swashbuckle will be there with the bash. 23 Savage going in right now. Trying to get this kill. Kata Omi's oh, the one stuck up. Bashed up onto the high ground. Will be forced off down to the low ground, but doesn't really matter. They still find the right place. Oh, Makoto now trying to eliminate the Undying. And they go forward with the Solar Guardian. They've already caught out Toby. Stormstormer caught yet again. Does still have BKB. They forced a buyback from Fishman. Stormstormer yeah, patient enough to not panic and pop his BKB. Able Honestly, getting in the face of Entity, and it's it's so hard for them because Toby is playing this Enigma, and he kind of just gets caught out. Oh no, they found the drought. Oh god, pure. Found himself bashed up by the Swashbuckle okay. again, and Makoto just blinks on him with the BKB. Finishes him off high, oh, finds a game. swap back onto Stormstormer. Yep. He gets himself bashed by 23 Savage. Both the cores are dead of Entity, and their double letters will emerge. GG, well played as core. Talent Esports have done it, taking the 2-0. Right.